Hi! Good day, grade 7 students. For today's lesson, we will be educating ourselves about Unit 1, Healthy Growth and Development. Kaya tara, samahan nyo akong matuto. In Healthy Growth and Development, let's talk about Holistic Health. When we say Holistic Health, it is about caring for the whole person o pag-aalaga sa buong pagkataon natin. So kasama dito, it provides for our physical, mental, spiritual, and social needs. It's rooted in the understanding that all these aspects affect your overall health. So when we say overall health, hindi lang to base sa physical natin pangangatawan, kundi kasama dito yung ating mental, spiritual, and social needs. And being unwell in one aspect affects you in others. So, kapag ka hindi ka okay sa isang aspeto ng ating uh, katawan, like physical or mental man yan, it affects the other dimension. So, for more understanding about holistic health, let's watch this video. Upon watching and learning the different dimension in holistic health, let's now discuss our lesson 2 entitled Life First Growth and Development. For more understanding about this lesson, let's watch these videos.
by watching and learning the difference between growth and development, you may use hashtag growth and development and send it in our GC or group chat. But before this lesson ends, let's watch another video that will enlighten us about the paces of growth and development. Let's watch this video. Erickson's theory of psychosocial development identifies eight stages which a healthy individual should pass through from birth to death. At each stage, we encounter different needs, ask new questions, and meet people who influence our behavior and learning. Stage 1. Basic Trust versus Mistrust As infants, we ask ourselves if we can trust the world, and we wonder if it's safe. We learn that if we can trust someone now, we can also trust others in the future. If we experience fear, we develop doubt and mistrust. The key to our development is our mother. Stage 2. Autonomy versus Shame and Doubt In our early childhood, we experience ourselves and discover our body. We ask, is it okay to be me? If we are allowed to discover ourselves, then we develop self-confidence. If we are not, we can develop shame and self-doubt. Both parents now play a major role. Stage 3. Initiative versus Guilt In preschool, we take initiative, try out new things, and learn basic principles like how round things roll. We ask, is it okay for me to do what I do? If we are encouraged, we can follow our interests. If we are held back or told that what we do is silly, we can develop guilt. We are now learning from the entire family. Stage 4. Industry versus Inferiority Now we discover our own interests and realize that we are different from others. We want to show that we can do things right. We ask if we can make it in this world. If we receive recognition from our teachers or peers, we become industrious, which is another word for hard-working. If we get too much negative feedback, we start to feel inferior and lose motivation. Our neighbors and schools now influence us the most. Stage 5. Identity versus Role Confusion During adolescence, we learn that we have different social roles. We are friends, students, children, and citizens. Many experience an identity crisis. If our parents now allow us to go out and explore, we can find identity. If they push us to conform to their views, we can face role confusion and feel lost. Key to our learning are our peers and role models. Stage 6. Intimacy versus Isolation As young adults, we slowly understand who we are and we start to let go of the relationships we had built earlier in order to fit in. We ask ourselves if we can love. If we can make a long-term commitment, we are confident and happy. If we cannot form intimate relationships, we might end up feeling isolated and lonely. Our friends and partners are now central to our development. Stage 7. Generativity versus Stagnation when we reach our 40s, we become comfortable, use our leisure time creatively, and maybe begin contributing to society. Our concern is generativity. If we think that we are able to lead the next generation into this world, we are happy. If we did not resolve some conflicts earlier, we can become pessimistic and experience stagnation. People at home and at work are now who influences the most. Stage 8 Ego Integrity versus Despair As we grow older, we tend to slow down and begin to look back over our lives. We ask, how have I done? If we think we did well, we develop feelings of contentment and integrity. If not, we can experience despair and become grumpy and bitter. Time to compare us with mankind. Eric Erikson was a German-American psychologist who, together with his wife Joan, became known for his work on psychosocial development. He was influenced by Sigmund and Anna Freud and became famous for coining the phrase identity crisis. Although Erikson lacked even a bachelor's degree, he served as a professor at Harvard and Yale.
this video was made for us by MinuteVideos.com, who are doing everything to make awesome videos affordable. So if you want to make your own video, please check out their website. If you tell them you came from Sprouts, they'll give you a 10% discount and they'll donate $50 for our next video, which would really help our channel. If you work in a company, why not use them for internal training? If you're a teacher or school, you can make your own lessons. Just go to minutevideos.com and order your video for as little as $600. Thank you for watching. And that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you, grade 7 students, and God bless you all.